Peace. Welcome to the Beat Conductors, where DJs and producers mix it down. This is DJ Olo coming live from the crates one more time. Today we have a real special show for you one more time, man. Um, this time what we're going to do is talk about time, because making music is based on time, right? So when you put your time into music, you mature in music. And today's show is all about going from that, that freshman stage to that, you know, JV stage, like, you know, in high school, you know what I'm saying? It's just like that. Maybe when you make music, it's like you, you have to start out doing what you can naturally do, and then you you progress uh, as you as you go in time, you know what I'm saying? So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to start out with the 14-year-old, my man first spawned, and then we're going to go into someone who's a little bit further in time. Check out my man first spawn. Welcome to Beat Conductors on First Spawn. I'm gonna show you guys how I make a beat. And I got Reason 5 and Akai MPK laptop production producer. And I'll show you how I break it down and then show you one of my final finalized beats. The sample I'm using is by Luther Ingram. Uh if loving you is wrong. And then like and I chopped it by using a uh, recycle uh and then
saw me conduct my beat, and then I'll show you one of my finalized beats, and then you contact me at ReverbNation.com slash First Spawn, and shout out to Beat Conductors, Miss Forge, Garrett Gibson, and Leanne Locke. So there you go, man. That's my man, First Spawn. You saw him 14 years old, man, fresh in the game, a freshman in the game, you know what I'm saying? And and he's putting out that, that hard sound, man, you know? He, he's got, like, that West Coast, like you said, that West Coast kind of sound, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's what's up, man, you know what I mean? It's it's love to see these little, the, the youngins, you know what I mean? The babies doing it. That's what it's all about, man, you know? It's, it's about the babies, man, you know what I'm saying? He's going to mature into something... That's gonna be dynamic, man, because his sound is already there, you know what I'm saying? So, um, what we're gonna do is go into somebody who, who just, who works on his dynamics, someone who's a mature, and uh, he's like a JV, you know what I'm saying? He's not, he's definitely not a freshman. He's probably like a, a junior, you know what I'm saying? He's up there. He's, he's, he's in his varsity mode right now, though, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing, man. Uh, check out my man Theory, repping Nova, too. That's what's up, man. Big ups to Nova. Theory. This is Theory. And you're rocking with the beat conductors. Today, I'm gonna break a track down for you, show you seven elements I played myself into one, no samples. Weapon of choice, reason four. Got a Phantom X6 behind me, but I just use that to trigger. Doesn't really matter though, I could do this with a bucket of rusty nails and a stick. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, you know, when I got started doing this, when I do what I usually do, and I sat down in front of the boards, no samples this time around, just to break down a, a, a beat, you know, actually play something out. So uh, I started with some rolls, you know what I'm saying? And what uh, a lot of stage artists will do is use guitar pedals and effects and stuff. So this one is a Rhodes going through an overdrive sort of situation. It's got a little uh, distortion on it. I use that for some background elements in the song. I'm also using uh, some pretty nice sounding guitars. I really like these in particular because they uh, you can hear the uh, pick like on the string with these. You know, it just adds a, a live feel to it. During the track, I back that up with some uh, more roads. Because I really, really love the sound of that piano. This one has some great low notes in it. So as, go, as opposed to going to a regular bass, I went to the deep notes on the roads to back it up. This sound right here of the seven had the most meat to it. Again, an affected uh, roads, but it's like it's got a wah pedal on it, controlled by how hard you hit the keys. Dynamics, you know, bringing it to life. Really good sound. I got some big synths. Really nice, big, warm sounds. Got some spacey sound and stuff to fill out the background. You never know where sounds can take you. And of course, the all important drums. Nice uh, piccolo tight snare. Kind of like the Questlove playing. Really love that sound. Seven elements, and that all comes together like this.
still got the heart to bang. I've never been the type man, really dimensions on that. My group, the package. My point is, kids, if you call yourself a producer, be able to deliver the record, you know? And I just showed you that top to bottom, all the way through about recording the vocals, I mix, I master, chasing the sound, you know? Get your engineering chops up, that's key. That's how you make the money. So, a friend of mine. He's put, put put together these uh, instrumental beat tape projects, uh, my man Gadget. And he asked uh, that we flip our favorite slow jam. And uh, I went right to the stash, to that love making music. You know, it was a D'Angelo, untitled, otherwise known as How Does That Feel? Flip. saying it doesn't have to be all samples you chase these kinds of sounds when you're sampling anyway you know what I'm saying uh, follow me on Twitter please brother needs more followers at theory beats again at theory beats on Twitter get to the website newgoldenera.com videos free music free downloads get plugged in and keep up with what my crew is doing no doubt beats are coming from the heart you know you heard the split one up you heard me play one of my uh, definite favorite beats one of my favorite songs of all time and uh, it's good to spend the time with you. Big shouts out to Beat Conductors for doing this, keeping the spirit of real hip hop alive, you know what I'm saying, and getting it down to the nuts and bolts because people do forget. You know what I'm saying? It's just theory. Peace. So there you go, man. That's my man Theory repping Nova too, man. You know what I'm saying? Another a, a dope producer, man. You know, I was really feeling his sound and I, and, and I was really checking for his sound too when we got to a spot, you know what I'm saying? Um, he, he really works on his dynamics and that's that's what's key in music right now, you know what I'm saying? It's always been key in, in music and recording music. And um, I like the fact that he, he doesn't have to use samples and his uh, his music still sounds live and it's it's really it's got that um it's got that thump that you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? So big ups to my man Theory and big ups to my man first spawn that you checked out first. Um, 14 years old, you gotta check for both of them on the internet. And if you're not watching this on the website right now, make sure you get on the website, www.beatconductors.com. And uh, that's it, man. We'll see you on the next one. DJ Olo, I'm out. Peace.